everyone, I'm Michelle Warner, Concept Designer with Fun Stampers Journey. Welcome to today's Product Spotlight video, where I'm going to show you how to assemble our Birdhouse Box die. So the die comes in three pieces. You've got your roof panel, your sides and floor, and your front and back piece. So when you cut these out, you're going to cut one roof, two pieces for the front and back, and two pieces that make the side and the floor. Now you'll notice that the front and back pieces are the same and there is no opening. So that was designed so that there would be um, three pieces of actual dies. So what you're going to do is you have the freedom to die cut any opening you want and you can go with a heart, a traditional circle, star, any shape you want and it will look like this. Okay, so now when we assemble these, you're going to set the roof part aside for now. And wherever you see a scored line is where you're going to want to make your folds. And of course, whenever you're dealing with a box type of a project, you're going to want to make sure you use your crease tools to get nice, crisp folds because you want your box to be at 90 degree angles. Let's fold this in. Okay, so those are the sides, and now this is our front with this adorable little heart opening for the little birdie. Oops, look at that. Sometimes when it folds a little um, off, just use your finger behind it and get a nice pinch, and then using your crease tool will get that nice and straight and you won't even notice it. All right, last piece. This one will make up the back. All right, so now you've got your sides and your fronts. So the first thing we're going to do, the best way I have found to adhere this together, is you're going to put the floor pieces on the front door first. So, you're going to want to adhere it like that. And I like to use our white liner tape. Um, for these, you can use uh, the tape runner, and of course you can certainly use the uh, craft glue. And a lot of it depends on if you're hanging your pieces. Um, you'll see at the end that you can hang this little birdhouse. And if you're hanging it, and you've got it heavily embellished, then you will definitely want to use your craft glue because that gives you the strongest adhesion. All right, so I like to do it flat. I can just easily line this up, press straight down. And then when I'm done, you can just take your crease tool and just rub it on here and get a nice tight adhesion in your paper fibers. All right, so how this comes together, is like this, and the floor pieces will overlap. Okay, so now it's time to put on the back. So we can do the same thing on this particular, on one side, you can lay it down open. All right, Get this little guy going. Okay, you also wanna make sure that you've got the floor pieces all lined up. I have accidentally glued it on upside down, so that was kind of hilarious. So just make sure you've got all your floor pieces lined up. Now we've got one more side to adhere, and that will close our box. Just gonna put this here. All right. Now for this one, you just kind of have to float it in the air and just sort of get that bottom corner lined up first and then the top will just sort of fall. Just do a light pinch, turn it on its side, and use our um, crease tool has a thicker curved end and that is perfect for going in here when you're reaching inside things. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to adhere the floor closed. 
before we tackle the roof. And the reason we do that is the more stable this box is, the easier it is to attach a roof. So, let's see here. We can just go ahead, we can use some white liner tape on this. And again, if you're actually filling this with little treats, you might consider re, uh, reinforcing the floor by using your craft glue. And I like to adhere it along the sides and along these bottom flaps. Like I said, the stronger this floor is, the easier you are going to have to adhere your roof. Sorry, I'm making these pieces too long. One of the things I love about our white liner tape is it is strong, but it is also flexible, so I can easily tear it and not worry about if I get a piece too long. All right, so now we're going to put a piece across the bottom. I'm just gonna tuck that under for now. Okay, so you're gonna fold this side in. You make sure you're nice and square. You don't wanna accidentally adhere these pieces like that, skewed. So you're gonna fold that in and then you're gonna fold this one on top. I'm running it along with my thumb and, fourth and uh, middle finger to make sure it's nice and square. Now, you're gonna use the curved side of your crease tool again, and you're just gonna come in and get that nice and tight. Okay, so we have a square solid base. So now we're going to do the roof. The first thing you're going to do is there are three straight scored lines. Is you're going to fold the middle one and you're going to fold it up. And I should note that if you're just going to fold it quickly, because these openings are right here, it does tend to want to crease funny. So go ahead and place your finger behind, give that center a pinch, and then that will help line up the rest. Definitely going to want this creased. And the next folds are going to be up. And you don't need to use the crease tool on these folds. So the idea is this, okay? So I should pause right here and say that if you are decorating your roof with little fun tiles or any type of any kind of embellishments, you're gonna to wanna to do all the decorating before you adhere it to the house. Um, it'll just go by much easier. It's kinda of tricky to decorate a roof while it's perched on top of this little tiny birdhouse. All right, so I've used wet glue and I'm actually going to use a couple of clips for just a couple of seconds to make sure that that dries. Okay. So the best way to attach your roof is you're going to add your wet glue and you're going to glue it along one side first. And you definitely want to use your wet glue on this. Number one, if you hang it, and you can see here, we've got that little slit if you want to hang your birdhouse. And um, number two, I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. Oops, that is just easy to come off, just like that. Okay, now when you use your craft glue, you have a few minutes to sort of maneuver it around to get good placement. So you're gonna initially place the roof down. You're gonna wanna do a couple of things. You're gonna wanna look up front and make sure the peak of your roof is at the peak of the house, and then you're gonna wanna come out and look from underneath. So press down with the fingers, let me just show you. Can I get a good, yeah, actually. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're lined up evenly here and here, and the sides of your house aren't bowed in, okay? Because it's, it's easy to do. Then you're just gonna lift up and come in with this side tool and just sort of use your fingers to get pressure on these pieces. There. Okay, now you're gonna wanna set this aside 
and let it dry. We don't have time to do that, so I'm just gonna jump right in for the second side. So you're just gonna lift your panel up, add your glue, and then you're just gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna tap, just tap it down. Now, with this second side, you can come in through your door and you're gonna come in with this curved part and you're just gonna gently press against your fingers. Okay, you don't wanna do it too much or you're gonna buckle like I just did. There. Just do a quick double check, do any adjustments needed and set it aside to dry. So let me show you a couple of sample pieces. So this little birdhouse was made by taking, uh, cutting the front piece. Okay, so you're gonna cut your front piece. Then you are going to cut your heart out of it. And then you're going to run it through the embossing folder. And then to get this look, I just took the hazelnut blend ink pad and I just lightly dusted it over the raised portions of the embossing folder. And that just turned out adorable, I love it. Okay, now to get this peak, before I adhered my roof, I went and die cut one of our border strips, this is a scallop. Then I scored at the half inch line and then you're just gonna fold it in half. Now you're gonna take your little snips and just snip up the center and then when you fold it, you're gonna get this really cute sort of peak. I adhered it underneath that roof piece and this is what you get. Oops, sorry. So this turned out super cute and of course you can hang it or it can just sit down as a table decoration. And here's one more piece. So this one, there is a, um, a border, another border die was used to create sort of roof tiles. A little tag was made through that little slit. And this one uses a traditional circle opening. And so this could be at a, you know, like a little baby shower or something, a little treats on the inside. So super, super cute. So I hope I've inspired you to use your birdhouse box die. Thank you so much for watching and now it's your turn to bring paper to life. <laughs>